Okay, as you can see, this is the uh, heavy root that was right there. Uh, this is located right behind or between the uh, tree and the sidewalk that's in the boulevard. Uh, as you can see, we've spent uh, quite a bit of time either using our forward or back sprays to try and cut this large root. Uh, as you can see, we're having a, a difficult time. Um, <clears throat> we are going to go ahead at this time and pull back. Uh, this root is just something that's too large uh, for us to cut. Uh, and also, this joint is right at the end, uh, right just before the connection to the main. Uh, so it's something that's going to be hard to cover. Uh, so we are going to go ahead at this time. Uh, we will pull back. Uh, we will put the centering guide back on and do a final video. Okay, this is going to be our final video. Uh, we did put the centering guide back on. We did have the one area that's towards the... Uh, right at the end of the sewer, the last joint before the main, where we had an uh, issue where we can't get the uh, roots clear. But as you can see, this was a joint that had heavy roots in it. Uh, as you can see, we were able to clear it up. Uh, as you can see, the clay has lost some of its uh, glazing. Also on the right hand side, uh, you'll see that we have a small crack there around the three, three to four o'clock position. Uh, as you can see, the joint here is uh, open just a little bit. Again, this was a heavy area of roots. Okay, as you can see as we start coming into this section, uh, here you're going to see the pipe is cracked. Uh, it's what we call circumferential. Uh, it's all the way around the circumference of the pipe. Uh, you can see we're looking uh, in front is the joint and then just past the joint you can see this is our first crack. Um, you're going to see as we push forward, um, you're going to see we have several areas. Uh, you can see here we have another circumferential crack. Uh, and also across the top and you can see the pipe also ovals out just a little bit um, as we come through this area. Uh, you can definitely see uh, that we have some heavy uh, cracking here. Uh, runs along the longitudinal length of the pipe. Uh, you can see here across the bottom as well as some of it is uh, circumferential as well. And you can see as we move on, you can see the cracking across the bottom of the piping um, and cracks in several areas. Uh, we were able to get this area here pretty clean. Uh, we did use a uh, minimal amount of water and pressure, uh, but you can see we have cracks that run across the top and the bottom. Uh, again, also circumferential cracking uh, through these tiles. Uh, this area is out by the uh, sidewalk area. As you can see we hold just a little bit of water here uh, but nothing uh, that's too serious. Uh, as you can see we're coming up here to the offset. Uh, you can see we do have some roots. Uh, heavy root right there uh, in the right hand about the two o'clock position. Uh, and you're going to see as we turn uh, this is a fitting here that turns us to the main. Uh, this is a large route where we've spent considerable amount of time. Uh, we were able to get the joint itself clean other than uh, this route which is located uh, basically right in front of the tree in the front yard. Uh, as you can see, uh, there's not a lot of pipe left. Um, beyond that, uh, 
to cover that joint with a liner before we hit the city main. Uh, you can see there's also heavy cracking of the city main itself. Uh, we are going to go ahead and pull back. Uh, you get a good shot here as well that we have a crack uh, right in the tie-in where the city main is. Uh, this gives you a good view of that as well. Uh, we will continue our recording as we pull back and we have taken measurements for our liner. Okay, we have located this area. Um, this is between the tree in the front yard and the sidewalk. Uh, the sewer runs just about under the tree that's in the front yard and then runs just to the west of the tree that's in the boulevard uh, where there's heavy roots. Uh, we're continuing to pull back and you can see through this area we just had some small amounts of root infiltration uh, we're able to get most of the roots out. Um, we are going to pause one more time just to locate uh, where the <coughs> transition is from the cast iron. Uh, that was our heaviest area of root infiltration, the very first joint um, just past the cast iron. Uh, we were able to get that joint clear. As you can see there's uh, some cracking in that area and you can see that joint is uh, somewhat open as well. Um, we'll pull back if you can get a little bit better look. Um, we are going to locate this real quick um, and then we will finish our recording. Okay we have located uh, this area. It's up in the landscaping about halfway up. Uh, the sewer basically does run just about under the tree uh, at a bit of an angle. As you can see, this is the four inch cast iron building drain. And you can see here's where we tie into the storm. Uh, you see we're coming up, and this is through the main sanitary clean out. <coughs> 